Hey guys, welcome to a tutorial on how to make the game of Tetris within Minecraft. Um, and this is uh, more of an advanced tutorial, and the main theme this in the long run that you can take with you is uh, how to make game logic. So, how to make things like a game loop and um, code for like controls in your game and things like that is what you'll learn in this tutorial. So uh, let me show you the output that you should get by the end of it. Um, so let's go ahead and first set the time today. Oops. Alright. Okay, so when you run it, it sets everything up, builds this, uh, you know, the background and then starts the game loop which is basically just something that happens on a timer so if you've played around a bunch with the the modding system you know those event blocks that help you set up a a periodic function is what we use for this so every I think I have it every one second this um, like the game environment that I've built updates and um, you know moves the block downwards and then the controls that I set up through these uh, blocks being broken are also uh, you know set up when you initially run it so let's see if I can clear some rows and you guys can see how this works and uh, you also might be wondering why these blocks actually change once they land and um, that's actually something that I did just to uh, uh, be able to detec detect collisions with blocks because basically what you're doing when you're moving a block downwards is we need to first check if that downwards or left or right or rotation um, we have to check and make sure that it's all clear before we know that we can let the user do that and uh, as you can see, sometimes when you rotate, the blocks overlap. Like when I do a, a rotate to the left here, there's actually three blocks that end up staying the same in the case of this T block here. And um, in this case, it looks like there is, from these two rotations, it looks like one block stays the same. So basically we needed a, a way to detect that a block is colliding with another block and a block needs to uh, needs to be able to collide with itself essentially to make this work and that's why once it lands it needs to change blocks it needs to change the kind of block that it is alright so let's see if I can get a row clear here, here we go So and this um, definitely was was not an easy task, and the way that I'll try to explain it in this tutorial is more on a high level because I'll sort of assume you know uh, know drone how to work with drones and the more like low level stuff. So I'll try to keep it at a high level. So there we go, got a Tetris, and you can see the the output on the lower left. You know, knows I made a Tetris, and it keeps also keeps track of your cleared rows. All right, so oh yeah, one other thing I'll show you that was sort of like the hardest part in this is um, hmm, it's when you have the split, the rows like sp are split up in a sense. So I can show you what I mean. So we'll also be learning, you know, how to code for all the different cases that you're gonna get in your game. Alright, let's just do this. Like that.
So essentially, when um, when I put a, f a eye block or one of these four you know four in a row like straight and long blocks right here, the game needs to close. Uh, clear this top row and then it needs to clear these bottom two rows but skip this row in the middle here all right so let's try to get another eye block here here we go all right here we go Cool. See? So um, in the next tutorial, we're going to start um, explaining in more detail and at a high level how to break this big problem down into more bite-sized chunks. And um, after that, then we'll start coding out each of those little chunks. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.